I'm Meng from Design Plus Code. Today I want to show you something really awesome. So you can see that we have this menu here that we want to animate. And this is a custom animation. We have a view that is on the left and when we click, it just moves to the right. First thing I want to show you is how to change the background color using a hex value, which I think is really awesome. So I'm going to go to sketch and here I'm going to copy this hex value for the color and then I can command click on the background to go to inspect and then to go to background and select a custom color. Here I have multiple options. I can use RGBA or you know HSB but in this case I'm just going to use the hex 16-bit and in this field I can paste my color like this. So now I have a custom color with a hex value. Now let's talk about the animation. So we're using the state as I've shown you previously how to use the state. In this case, we're using a variable show that is of default value false. And then we're using the offset property to move based on true or false. So we're asking, okay, is the show is true if it's true, then just move it to X position zero so that we can show the menu. If it's false, then move towards this direction, so minus, okay, and use the width of the screen to take it out of the screen. So we have this animation. And we're using the button action with animation, and we're toggling that value from true to false, from false to true, back and forth. And what I want to show you today is how to add an additional effect to your animation to make it even more custom. So I'm going to go here right after the offset property and I'm going to do command shift and L to add a bunch of other properties that I want to play with. In this case, I want to use rotation 3D. And what is interesting here, you can see that, you know, we're starting to have some transformation and you can change these values. And this really feels like a prototyping tool, but in fact, you're building a real app. And that's really exciting. So I can set it to 60. You can see that there's a bit of transformation. And, uh, you know, you're going to see it looks like this for now. And wh what we're going to do is that we're going to use the same principle with the state. We're going to ask, well, is showing the menu true? And if it's true, then don't do any transformation. So we're going to set it to zero. And else, we need meaning that when it's hiding, then we're going to set the angle to 60. And in this case, you can see that while it's hiding, uh, we still see a little bit of the menu and we don't want that. But first of all, let's test the animation. So you can see we have a very custom animation. It's using the 3D transformation effect. It's really cool and it's customizable. So now let's make sure that we don't see this. So for example, we can set the X transformation to zero and the Z transformation to zero and uh, the angle to be not as sharp. So the degrees, we're going to set it to, let's say 30. And now it's completely hidden. When I click on open menu, we have this beautiful custom animation going on. So that's what I wanted to show you today. And I actually have a course that's coming next week that I'm working really hard on. In fact, I'm going to recreate a lot of these designs that you see here. This is going to be a beginner friendly course, but really focus on UI animations, how to create very custom interactions and data. And even if you're not a beginner, you're going to find this quite enjoyable because it's a lot about UI and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to include a link below where you can have access to this page, where you can get a 20% discount. Thank you so much.